for our second reading of this live stream. Let's have a read through the last few pages of Batman number 243 from 1972. Okay. And in this, this is the first appearance of the Lazarus Pit. And the artwork for this and the cover is Neil Adams. And the story is Denny O'Neill. Okay. And the inks by Dick Giordano. Awesome. Like, wow. This is, this is a, for Batman, for collection, this is basically a must have in your collection. Now, I didn't have this. And this is a low grade. This is graded we'll crack this open this is graded at good it'd be good good minus okay well good because it's you know it's complete it doesn't have any chunks missing or anything it's not incomplete um it has an extra staple i flipped through this you'll see i'll show you the staple i even thought about taking the staple out but it's okay we won't take it out okay so bought this graded at good I would give this good good minus right and this thing costs us 550 Canadian which is a pretty good deal for this which comes up to around four dollars US okay only 20 cents this thing in high grade goes for very high grade goes for very much okay uh, if you, if you're looking at extremely high grade for this you're paying hundreds of dollars for it we're glad to have a a low grade and here's the staple that they put in right and it goes through here and it's not the original staple the original staples are here now uh, let me see if i can open this up take a look that's the original staple right there right and then there's another staple oh, where is it right there okay another staple there those are original staples i'm assuming the well yeah for sure basically the cover was detached so some joe below came along and put that staple in right i thought about taking it off but it's okay we don't need to take it off we can still read the six pages we want to read for this the sun's shining on our comic neil adams artwork beautiful his flow is absolutely amazing like really neil adams has one of the best flows in comic books just the motion that he draws brilliant 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 and keep in mind this is 1972 right 1972 you're watching a fight to the death you're watching a fight to the death that batman that the batman doesn't dare win right. and this is uh batman's friend and i'll give you the quick little lowdown on this of what's going on uh beautiful and this the logo of the batman is really nice really nice the back cover dig these four new snap tight mattel All right. so the story here is batman let's see if we can fix this part oh there it is <laughs> for me if i can there we go Doop. we'll put that on top 
for me if i can fix up these little things not fix up but just make it put it in the right place i end up trying to do it okay so the story in this is batman is after ra's al ghul right and this is i don't know what part this is of how the story had progressed up to this point right i read uh, some of this some of the few pages just get the feel and i looked at it this morning and i picked the spot that we're going to start reading but let's flip through this basically this is batman's friend or their training partner and stuff and uh, there's a lot that's gone on since And they're going to be fighting to the death to a certain degree. And one of the reasons is, is because Batman needs his help to find Ra's al Ghul. And Batman has saved his life. So he owns, you know, Batman owns this guy's life. But so has Ra's al Ghul has saved this guy's life. So he's in conflict right now. And he's saying we have to fight to the death. And Batman, you know, they do their thing, right? So they do a little battle and Batman is able to overcome him. Right? And just beautiful, like, like phenomenal, right? Here, let's go through this slowly. Right? Let's go through this slowly. Right? Give you guys the luck. We're not going to read it. Batman cuts the, uh, the cloth that's holding them together. Takes them down. Does a twist of the wrist. Once you get that, you got the person down. Throws them. Boom. Jumps on them. Oh, and he gets a kick to the face. Look at that. Boom. Just beautiful. Right. And the guy's name is Ling. He's got it. Nothing I can do except wait. And that's very what Batman does very well. And he grabs his wrist, twists, If you can do that, let's do this so I can focus. Right? Does a twist. Twist back. Oh, he's lost it. See that? And turns the knife on him. And then he's able to beat him okay and we find out that actually this guy is this is a mask and that's robin and then batman takes the masks and puts it on and this guy's mad so there's a whole bunch of intricate stuff going on with the story right and basically batman's trying to find his way to ra's al ghul's lair right and along the way, he picks up some companions. This is uh, Ra's al Ghul's daughter, Talia. I think it's Talia anyway, <laughs> right? 
and basically follows her Oop. to Ra's al Ghul's matches Malone crack thank you right and picks up this this lady this lady is funny okay and long story short there is now four of them that find their way to Ra's al Ghul's lair in the mountains okay and this is where we're going to pick it up okay. we're going to start reading it from here so take a look and there's all four of them there's batman there's the girl there's that guy and that guy right Because in a lot of comics, a lot of first appearances occur towards the end of the comic. And this is where we're at. We're reading the last few pages of Batman number 243 from 1972. Okay. She's a good woman, Batman thinks. As Blaine is a good man, even Ling has a kind of raw nobility. I hate risking their lives for any lesser cause. I wouldn't. through the mountain pass but Ra's al Ghul is like the mountains and deserts he favors savage merciless he must be stopped this is undoubtedly the entrance to the demon's lair unguardedly says not likely it was guarded by those we defeated Batman trust kicking the door link has a point we may be standing near a trap that's why I am going first Batman says And alone right. crack he opens the door be careful someone yells he enters the chamber the Batman and this guy you see here this guy had jumped Batman earlier in the uh, beat Batman earlier in the in the book the Batman the guy says you never tire of gr gasping my name ah huh? Abu or Ubu a few hours ago you put your foot in my face I'm about to return the favor he says he's grabbing a wrench He's Talia's, this guy's Talia's, this Ubu's Talia's uh, uh, protector. Okay. Wham! Jumps up. Double jumps into his face with both feet full force Bam. just takes him out at one hit 
He'll sleep the sleep of the fat, ugly, and stupid Batman things. Batman, behind you. There's Talia coming. Behind them. Ah, Elder Goss coming in. Abu is Ra's al Ghul's uh, bodyguard. Cool. The red-headed girl jumps Talia. It's daughter Talia. Takes her down. She was tiptoeing towards you. I'm betting her pretty head is loaded with pure nasty, she says. On the contrary, I mean my darling Batman. No harm, Talia says. I meant only to greet greet him Talia gives Batman a kiss your lips are warm as always and as always they chill me to the marrow Batman says I'd sooner be pecked by a rattlesnake the red-headed girl says I don't suppose you're willing to tell where your father is, Batman is asking Talia. Gladly, darling, he is present, she says. To be precise, his body is present. His soul has departed. There's Ra's al Ghul dead but is Ra's al Ghul ever dead Ra's al Ghul is dead she says or Batman asks Ra's al Ghul is dead quite dead you may test his condition if you wish she says I'll do that the guy steps up No question of it, Batman. He's lifeless as stone. You don't seem sorry, Talia, Batman asks. Exclamation mark. I am not, she says. He had a long, eventful life several long lives she replies you want to take me to your silly police darling i shall be delighted to accompany you talia says as talia's Silken voice fills the astonished silence. Her finger touches a hidden stud. Doop. The journey to civilization will be most enjoyable in your company, Talia says, holding on to Batman's arm. I'll bet you'll get big kicks from jail too, the red-headed girl says. No, our job is finished, Batman replies. Any more chores, Batman? Oh, the guy's asking. I read it in wrong order. So, red-headed girl, I'll bet you're, you'll get big kicks from jail too, the red-headed girl says. And the, the guy in the green jacket says, any more chores, Batman? And Batman replies, no, our job is finished. Right. But the panel at the bottom says, not true, Batman. Not true. Not true. What is this madness? For 
had you remained in the death chamber you would have seen the heavy slab bearing the still form of Ra's al Ghul sink into a pit the sun is not letting us get a full image of it right. <laughs> I'm trying to get you the full image of this battle we'll scan it we'll scan it right Oh, something's going on. Something's going on. What is that green thing? Right. You would hear a faint hiss and smell a thick, musty odor as bubbling liquid covers it. Covers it completely for a minute, two, and then abruptly you would see the slab surface rise above the floor bearing a modern day Lazarus arisen from the dead look at him yeah and the Lazarus pit really makes people insane and Raz al Ghul is definitely a mad genius insane insane to the core A mirthless insane joy glittering in his eyes yeah <laughs> Look at that. the ruthless conflict between the demon and the battle and concludes in next issues the demon lives again ha <laughs> ha so good so good indeed indeed phenomenal phenomenal right phenomenal very happy to have this in my collection even at this low grade <laughs> at a great price right fantastic fantastic awesome awesome and with the sunlight it actually looks super cool right awesome 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 let's put this guy back oh there's a little bit of comic book comic book leftovers in here let's put it put it back in <laughs> somewhere preserve the paper of the comic book i think it's part of the cover see that it's part of the cover somewhere very nice very nice nice very cool very cool very cool 